Hi guys, it's Andrew from Eastamade today and welcome back to the Eastamade channel. I am over here at Stonemaker today and we are going to be making paver stones. We're going to be making interlocking blocks over here. Um, this is something that almost everybody's going to use. And this machine is incredibly efficient at doing this. If you are somebody that is in the hardscaping business, you do some landscaping, um, you have use for paver stones, this machine really pumps them out. It'll do, it will do 12 paver stones a cycle, and a cycle takes it around 20 to 25 seconds. So you're gonna be getting at least 24 pavers out of this every single minute. Now, if you look at the, if you look at the retail price on a paver right now, it's around a dollar. That's what, uh, I was down at Home Depot the other day, and a standard four by eight paver was a dollar. That's $24 a minute out of this machine. And, the cost on that is about 25 or 30 percent of that. So it costs about 25 or 30 cents to make a paver if you're purchasing the material. And this is just purchasing a small quantity of material. If you're, if you're purchasing a large quantity of it, if you have a quarry, if you have access to the materials to do this, you're likely going to be able to make that paver for a whole lot less money than that even. So on that note, that is an awful pile of money this thing is going to produce. That's right around, 12, I think it's $1,200. Let me, let me throw this up here again. Because I had it out the other day. You're looking at $1,440 an hour is what this stone maker is going to produce in pavers. That, that's an incredible, incredible amount of money for the little bit this machine is going to cost you to do it. Um, if you haven't seen a stone maker yet, this is what it is. This is a punch and die system, and that will make how many pavers every 25 seconds. And the machine is pretty much automated. All you have to do is put a, uh, a board in underneath it here, and that's what we'll push out. And that track there, you can add as much track on as you want. Um, and then you'll store the, uh, store the pavers or blocks, whatever you have on a rack. Now, pavers are not all that this machine will make. This machine will make any kind of a formed block you want. It'll make a hollow core block. It'll, it'll make a paver. If you want a design on the top of your paver, we can do all that. If you can compress something and form it, any material, this machine is very, very good at that. These guys have done a lot of uh, different oddball stuff. So if you have some sort of material that you want to compress, this is the machine for it. And the mixer is just back here for it. So the mixer spins around, comes up, dumps into the hopper, mixer will come back down, and then you're ready to mix another batch. So if you want to make this thing really efficient, you need to have two or three guys running this. You need to have one guy to mix the batch, you need to have one guy to run it, and uh, a guy or two to offload on the end of it, because this thing puts out a pile of stones in a hurt. Um, anyways guys, I will go ahead, I will fire this up. As per the last video, if you drop a comment down below, you will be entered to in a draw to win some Easter made swag, either a shirt or a hat. We will contact you and let you know what you want. Um, it'll be about, the draw will be about a week after the video. So make sure you drop a comment below to be entered into that draw and let us know what you think of this stone maker. And give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I will quit talking and I'll run this thing for you. I'll show you how it makes some paver stones. Okay guys, I'll show you how this works anyway. So right now we have this on manual mode right now and we're running the mixer so we're just going to mix up that batch a little bit more turn the mixer off just flip the switch and now what we want to do is we want to take the mixer and put it into the hopper here so in order to lift the mixer we just hit the mixer lift here bring it up and then we want to open up the door here, we want to open that right up. So we'll bring you over. There's a spring pin on it. So open the spring pin up. Open the door up. Now what we're gonna do, I'll put you over here, you'll be able to see it better. There you go. Now we're just going to run the mixer when it's up like that to dump the material into the hopper here. So we'll run a little bit one way and that'll fill up one side of it. 
And then we'll run it the opposite way. And that'll fill up the other side of the hopper. So when you're done filling this, you put the mixer back down and, and you'd have somebody else mix another batch of material. And then typically by the machine, at the time the machine, machine is done forming the stones, you would have, uh, you'd have another batch of material ready to go in. So it's, uh, it's a pretty slick setup. And typically one hopper or one mixer will fill up the hopper once. So it's a pretty good ratio there. So we've got everything into our hopper there now. Lock our door and come back over here. We'll put our mixer back down. Switch our machine to manual or automatic here. When we hit the start button, it's going to home itself. And hit it again, we'll be able to do a cycle. So that will compact and vibrate until it hits a set of prop switches, it tells it how high it is. And that way every stone is the same height. So to do another cycle, we just hit the start button again, go home again, and hit start again. So when we run into that guys, what's happened there is we haven't filled the mold all the way up yet. So what I'll do is move the material from the back of the hopper to the front of it. And then that way we can fill our mold evenly again. There we go. So we'll switch back on to automatic here. Hit start, it's already home.
So now our hopper has other material now. So typically you'd have somebody else mixing a batch up where you'd have another batch on the go that you could dump back into there. So that's about how long it takes to make those pavers, which is pretty impressive. Well guys, as you can see, that machine is incredibly impressive. If you uh, do the quick math on that, uh, you're gonna be making 24 pavers a minute. Um, that's $1,400 an hour, 1,400 pavers an hour at a dollar a piece. This machine is gonna generate $11,500 almost in a day, in an eight hour working day. That is incredible, incredible that it's gonna produce that much. It's gonna produce 11,000 paver stones in a, in a working shift with it. Um, so if you're looking to get into this, and like the really cool thing about this too is typically, if you wanna get into pavers and do this kind of stuff, you need a big, big, big factory and a lot of resources to be able to do it. This here eliminates a lot of that. You don't need that anymore. You can make pavers yourself. You can make hollow core blocks yourself. You can make whatever you want to compact out of concrete or any other material with this machine. So you can make, you can go into that market now. It's a market that was pretty well untapped for most normal people. Where with this, again, it's simple enough that you can set this up. It's a simple machine to run that you can put a guy on it and he doesn't need to be a rocket scientist to, to run this thing. Um, it's very, very simple. And as you can see, that's, uh, that's the result, guys. Those are the pavers that we just made. You can see the last batch of them where we're starting to get low um, on, on material there. But that's, uh, that's incredible, especially if this is something you want to get into. Again, typically you would need a pile of money and a pile of resources to do this where this is a simple machine that will allow you to get into that market. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, give her a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down on the bottom. I really appreciate everybody's support. Don't forget to drop a comment to enter a draw to win some swag. Some Easter made swag here. If you drop a comment below, we will draw the winner here in about a week. Um, so anyways, guys, again, appreciate all the support. Tell your friends about this and I hope to see you on the next one.